Now, there was another life which we remember for its warmth and humanity and humor, the life of Ada Reed, 82 years old and still so young in heart. But doubters are quick to seize on a gesture, a, a movement. Now, if you remember, we showed a film of Ada's daughter and her grandchildren in Australia. Now, one viewing Sherlock Holmes wrote, I noticed Miss Reeve put her glasses on for a moment before being asked to watch a film. The conclusion, my dear BBC, is elementary. She knew. Ada, why did you put on your spectacles? Oh, that's extraordinary. But before I answer that question, uh, let's get the age right. I was 82 then. I'm now right. 83, 83, if you please. Yes, you've added but, one since. All right, Ada. That's right. Now we'll get on. <laughs> Now, that's extraordinary, you know, that question of glasses, because you will very seldom see me without them. Either I have them on my nose, or I have them as I have now in my hand. Well, I'd been sitting most of the program and feeling interested, and suddenly I thought I'd like to have a look round, so I put my glasses on. And then I saw the pictures of my grandchildren, and that that just touched me, and I, I had a few tears, and... So I took my glasses off again and just mopped my eyes and that's all. It was no more so absurd, really, really. <laughs> well, there you are, Sherlock Holmes. And uh, unfortunately, as sometimes happens, we overran on your program, Ada, and so uh, viewers missed what we thought as the line of the evening. You came down to the cameras, the audience were applauding you and cheering you, and you said something. Can you remember what it was that you said? Yes, and because it was what I was feeling at the moment. <laughs> I said I had to come to the BBC to find out what a good woman I am. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Ada Reed. <laughs>